I am so happy about this. I've turned mushrooms into bacon, I've used mushrooms for chicken recipes, and I've even used mushrooms to make a lobster roll. That lobster roll was pretty good. Now for the next part of my mushroom series, my fungi series rest of recipes, I'm gonna be taking a look at the lion's mane mushroom. Now if you can imagine the lion's mane mushrooms are actually a little bit bigger than this, they grow quite large. I was given some slices of the lion's mane mushroom to make steaks out of. Didn't end up making steaks with them, but we're gonna use them for something else because doing a little bit of research on the lion's mane and just having it here in the house, it smells like crab meat. It really does smell like crab. It's kind of crazy how a lot of these mushrooms end up having a very seafoody like smell and sometimes taste. From what I understand, the lion's mane doesn't disappoint with the crab taste. Now the lion's mane goes by a bunch of different names. It's the bearded tooth, the hedgehog, the pom-pom. It's a member of the tooth fungus group. That's because of its teeth and its long mane that it grows. Now the lion's mane is also sold in health food stores because it does have some health benefits. Now supposedly, and I don't know if this is true, but it helps against possible dementia, mild depression or anxiety. It may speed recovery on nervous system injuries, the immune system boosters, it does a lot. So like I said, this is the second part of our mushroom series. And this time we're gonna make crab cakes. So let's get going. It's gonna be a really simple recipe. Okay, let's get right to making these lion's mane. Now, one of the nice things about lion's mane is when they pull apart, you should be able to pull them into almost crab-like size pieces. Pretty impressive how these things come apart. Don't wanna run these underwater because of how porous they are. They will soak up that water immediately. But that is it. That tore up really quick, really easy. So I'm gonna take these guys and add just a few cloves of garlic. So we're just doing, it looked like about probably three cloves of garlic really is about it. You can do a little bit more if you want, but we're just doing three. Don't need to go crazy. But all I'm gonna do is just toss in some olive oil. I'm gonna go really light on the olive oil. Don't wanna go nuts, um, cause I don't want these to soak up this olive oil. Just wanna make sure that they're coated cause I also don't want them to be dry. Okay, that looks pretty good. We're just gonna put these on a baking sheet. I'm gonna use my Brava oven just to make this even quicker. It's preheating to 350 degrees and that's gonna cook these guys for about 20 minutes or so. Okay, for the most part, these are looking good but I might've gone a little bit far. They are a little darker than what I wanted. Still gonna work for the crab cake. So in a separate bowl, we're gonna mix together an egg mixture. Now you can use whatever egg replacer you want. I've been using this Bob's Red Mill. It seems to work pretty well. Uh, so we're just gonna do one egg equivalent, whatever that is. So commonly in crab cakes, you would use like a Worcestershire, Worcester, Worcestershire sauce. I don't know how to say it. We're just gonna kind of make our own. We're just gonna use uh, about a teaspoon of soy sauce, a little drop of rice vinegar, a little drop of molasses, and that's gonna be an equivalent of your, pretty close to Worcestershire, Worcestershire, Worcestershire. Worcestershire sauce. I'm gonna use a vegan mayo. This is the Hellman's vegan mayo. We're gonna do a little over two tablespoons of that. A few drops of lemon, no seeds. Of course I got a seed in there. Now, if you have fresh parsley, use fresh parsley. Like I said, I'm making this quick, so I'm just gonna use, I have some dried parsley. It's gonna work. It's not gonna be exactly what you want, but it's gonna work. So now let's whisk this mixture together and we're starting to form a binding agent for some breadcrumbs and some crab lion's mane mushroom. Pretty excited about the way this is coming out. Now I also have some red onion that I wanna add. I just wanna add that for a little bit extra texture and taste. Drop these guys in. Now last bit, we're gonna sprinkle some Old Bay just to take that seafood flavor over the top. Give this one more mix. So I'm gonna do about a quarter cup of the panko breadcrumbs just to give it that nice big chunky pieces of, of bread and probably a half of a cup of regular breadcrumbs. Wait a little bit more than half a cup, we'll just dump that in there. Now last bit, let's throw in our crab meat. Let's mix this together. So these, these look, smell, I mean, just everything amazing. Now I probably could have lumped up this crab just a little bit smaller. I still think it's gonna work. It's gonna be a crazy filled crab cake. I think it's gonna be delicious. Now lastly, before we give it its final mix, I'm just gonna drop a little bit of salt in here, a little bit of pepper, black pepper. It smells like crab cakes, I'll tell you that. And yeah, I think that was gonna be the touch that put it over the top. 
So we got our cast iron skillet nice and hot. I'm just gonna add in some olive oil to the pan. And then all we're gonna do is form our crab cakes. Then we're just gonna need to just grab a little meatball sized crab cake, press down to make it that cake, and then drop it in your pan. See if we can get three of them in the pan at a time. It might be a little too hot. I will tell you this right now, if you make these, cut up your crab bits just a bit smaller because mine are too big. <laughs> mine are just too big. Just give these guys a flip, pray they stay together. So we're also gonna make our sauce for these. I'm doing a really basic sauce. I'm just gonna do a pinch of the vegan mayo. I wish I had some Dijon mustard, don't kill me. I just have some yellow mustard, just like the lightest little squeeze. A touch of paprika, a decent amount of paprika. Some salt, and then we're gonna squeeze in the rest of this lemon juice. That actually works pretty wonderful. And all we're gonna do is just drop our mushroom crab sauce. It's kind of a rum, not a rum a lot. I'm not making a rum a lot. This is just a old sauce dash sauce. Real basic, real simple. There's gonna be a nice little appetizer for everybody to jump on. This crab cake is done. Looks wonderful. And this last one is gonna be perfect. That's how it always works. I mean, look at these things. I mean, just wonderful looking crab cakes. Minus the crab. I would say completely plant-based, but everybody got on me because mushrooms aren't plants, they're fungi. So this is completely plant and fungi based. Let's give it a try. I'm gonna break off a piece, dip it in our sauce that we made. <laughs> oh my God, you've gotta be kidding me. Absolutely delicious. I mean, just delicious. These are unbelievable. I mean, just look at that little bit. And tell me this little bit doesn't resemble crab meat. Taste, texture, everything. The mushroom that tastes like crab. <laughs> now you could squeeze a little bit more lemon over top to get that extra flavor that everybody knows, that nice lemony bright flavor that would definitely help it, which it doesn't need because it's unbelievable. Unbelievable. Well, so I got this the Lion's Main Crab Cake, wow. Gang, the people that are scrolling right over here on the side, these are the sauce makers. You could join the sauce squad over at patreon.com slash sauce dash. And click the subscribe button and click this video right here. It's probably gonna be another one of my mushroom videos. What other mushroom should I try? Let me know in the comments below.